are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so exciting because we are doing a Meghan Markle makeup tutorial. If there is one thing you guys have been requesting like crazy these past few months, it has been Meghan Markle, Meghan Markle makeup tutorials. Just Meghan Markle. So that is what I'm doing for you guys today. And I wanted to do kind of her everyday look using some of her favorite products drugstore duped so I did tons of digging found all of Megan's favorite everyday products and then I duped them for you guys with drugstore products because I know you guys love the drugstore stuff so I had to do it for you and I hope you guys love this look as much as I do it's just like a really nice natural look it's kind of how Megan does her makeup on an everyday basis and I also really want to do a Megan tutorial using some more of her favorite products um, but something a little bit more dramatic. So if you guys have any specific looks, you can always DM them to me on Instagram because that helps out so much. Thank you to those of you who are sending me DMs. Love seeing your inspo. Please be sure to come follow me on Instagram while you're at it. And then also, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see some more Meghan Markle makeup tutorials. And then subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. Okay, let's get into the tutorial now. So Megan loves Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin Mist. You guys know I love that too, but it is a very big splurge. So a comparable dupe is the Pixie Glow Tonic. Now it's actually bi-phase, so the top layer typically has oil sitting at the top, and then before you spray, all you're gonna do is shake it up so that the two mix together, and then you can spray this all over your face prior to makeup application as well as after makeup application, and it's just gonna give you that dewy, like tacky, glowy looking skin. Now, Megan loves the Laura Mercier Illuminated Tinted Moisturizer. There are so many illuminating tinted moisturizers from the drugstore, but I didn't think any of them were that comparable to the Laura Mercier Illuminated Tinted Moisturizer. However, you can easily create your own dupe. You can use the Maybelline Dream BB, which is such an amazing tinted moisturizer, definitely my favorite at the drugstore currently, and then the L'Oreal Visible Lift Serum Tint. This one is in the shade 805 Amber. There's a couple different shades of this, which is really nice because you can pick the shade that's customized to your skin tone. So all you're gonna do is use your illuminator, squeeze it on the back of your hand. You're gonna mix in your tinted moisturizer with the illuminator. So I'm gonna be using Maybelline Dream Baby Fresh. So I'm just gonna apply the tinted moisturizer mixed with the serum to my face using my fingers. Get a little bit on the eyelid too. Just want to even everything out. Megan's skin is always super light coverage. It doesn't even really look like she wears that much makeup at all. So you just want to do like a nice, even thin layer. But it's really not about covering or hiding anything. It's just, you know, giving an all over even glow. Megan loves Yves Saint Laurent to Chicla, which is a really sheer light coverage milky illuminator highlighter slash concealer. A great dupe for that is the L'Oreal Lumi concealer. This comes in really similar packaging to YSL to Chicla, and as you guys will see, just gives you like that light milky coverage. So we're just gonna apply this right under the eyes. I'm also gonna put just a stripe down my nose. And we're just gonna blend this concealer in using the warmth of our fingers. Just spend some extra time really working the concealer into the skin until it just becomes one. Now for brows, Megan really loves the, what is it called? It's the HD Makeup Forever HD Aqua Brow, I believe is what it is. But a really great do for that is the NYX Eyebrow Gel. It comes in really similar packaging. And what this is, is a tinted brow gel. So you just squirt a little bit of the product on the back of your hand. Now for this brow product, you will need an angled brush. I'm gonna get the product moving. As you guys can see, it has a ton of coverage and just fill in your brows. And this is kind of like a gel and a color in one. I got it specifically for this video, but since I've been using it and kind of like practicing the look, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm actually a huge fan of this. So Megan always kind of has that like smoldering, chocolatey, hazy, bronze, brown liner going on. And that's actually Max Teddy Pencil. And it's just a really beautiful like deep bronze with slight flecks of gold and shimmer throughout it, which is really complimentary to brown eyes. And I found a dupe. It's from Essence and it's actually called Teddy too. But this 
this one was only like $1.99 and it's a deep bronze with some shimmer throughout it so I think you get a really similar look. Um, I'm just going to really nestle this into the top lash line just because her everyday look tends to be a little bit more subtle. Run that back and forth and you guys will see it's such a gorgeous light bronze color. So I'm just going to apply this to the top lash line of both eyes. And I'm also going to just slightly run this on the lower lash line too. Just a little bit. The shimmer in it is really pretty and I do think it kind of just gives your eyes something a little bit special. Hers never looks too structured. It seems like she does a lot of smudging. So we're just going to smudge ours around a bit. Now I did some digging and I couldn't find much on bronzer. I'm not even sure if she uses bronzer entirely, but I wanted to get her glow and the warmth that she has in her skin. So I chose this one from L'Oreal. It's the Infallible Pro Glow in the shade Coco. Now the reason I really like this one is because you have a matte side and then a luminous side and swirl together, they just create a really nice natural looking bronzer. So I'm gonna pick this up on an angled brush, just like, you know, swirling the two together. And we will be applying this all throughout the face, just kind of starting on the apples of the cheeks and kind of pulling outward just because I really wanna look glowy like her. So we're just gonna put the bronzer all over the face. It doesn't have to be too structured. I really don't think she contours at all. I, I'm pretty sure she does not contour at all. Now Megan really loves NARS Orgasm and a really easy way to kind of cheat a blush that looks like that is by taking a nice fleshy corally pink like this one. This one is from Alme and it's in the shade Pink Rose. So I'm gonna pick this up, just kind of concentrating on the darker colors of this blush and I'm gonna apply that. Ooh. I'm gonna apply that right here to the apples of my cheeks. And the tone of the pink is the same as NARS Orgasm. It just doesn't have all the glow that NARS Orgasm has to it. So all we're gonna have to do is go in with a highlighter and then you get the same exact look. So you don't have to go for an already illuminated blush. You can just put illuminator on top. So for example, let's go in with this sleek highlighting palette and because Orgasm has a little bit more of a golden sheen to it, let's take this golden one right here. Again, just gonna pick it up on that blush brush so we get the same amount of intensity. Always tap off the excess and just pop this right on top of the blush. And you can always like go back and forth, put a little bit more blush down, put a little bit more illuminator just to make it a little bit more Megan Markle-y. Now to highlight the face, I'm actually just gonna go back in with that sleek palette and I'm gonna be mixing these two cream highlights just because I kinda like the shade they create when they're mixed together. And I'm just gonna ever so slightly apply this to the high points of the face. I feel like Megan doesn't really do that much illuminator. She really keeps the skin looking super natural. And sometimes highlights don't look all that natural, but this cream part of the sleek palette is really great because you get a little bit more of a subtle glow rather than kind of like a highlighted strobe. So just gonna tap this on all the high points of the face. Now we're gonna do mascara and I actually found out that this is her favorite drugstore mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious version. You guys know I love Maybelline Lash Sensational, but I haven't tried the Luscious version. So let's see if this is awesome as Megan says it is. It's kind of got like a matte packaging to it. The one looks really interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but we're gonna try it because this is accurate to what Meghan Markle actually uses. Ooh, not bad. That actually gives you a lot of length. I actually really like that. I'm gonna do a couple extra coats because I feel like she always has really pretty dramatic long lashes. Guys, I'm a fan of the mascara. I think it looks really good. I like it. <laughs> so for lips, Megan is a really big fan of the fresh lip butter, lip butters, lip, you know, those fresh tinted lip balms. She's a big fan of those and a really great option that's more affordable, but you still get the moisturization, the tint, a little bit of life and health put back into your lips are the All May Butter Kiss Lipsticks. Today I'm gonna be using the shade Pink, which is just a pretty pink, obviously. But these are hydrating, they're nourishing, and they give you just a little bit of color that looks really pretty and light. I'm just gonna apply that all over my lips. 
Now to keep this look really true to Meghan Markle, let's take that Teddy pencil one more time and bring back all of our moles and freckles. I love that about Meghan Markle. She's all about like showing off her freckles and like leaving them all there and making sure that everything looks nice and natural. So I'm just gonna go over all my own little freckles and just bring them back to life. And then all you have to do is kind of dot them off using your fingers. That way they're not as heavy and they'll look a little bit more soft and like not as fake, I guess. <laughs> And then let's finish the face off with one more spray of the Pixi Glow Mist. Just lightly all over the skin. It'll bring back life and put dew in the skin. And then you just gotta wait a couple seconds for it to dry. And this is the finished Meghan Markle favorite products look. This is kind of her like everyday look and I really like it. I'm a big fan. I think you guys will love this too. I love most of the products that are her like favorites, but there are a lot of really expensive higher end products. So I wanted to do another drugstore product. <clears throat> I just choked on my own spit. <laughs> what? I wanted to do another drugstore product dedicated video for you guys. Did you guys just see my soul leave my body? I think my eyes were like, Okay, anyway, I wanted to do, you know, another drugstore dedicated video for you guys because I know you guys love them. Um, product links, information, all that stuff will be in the description box down below. And don't forget to let me know what specific Meghan Markle look you want to see. I don't think I want to do the wedding makeup look just because everybody kind of did that. But I did find some looks of hers where she's got like a little bit more of a dramatic eye going on. Because I feel like if I do the wedding makeup, it's going to be really similar to this. Because she did wear just a more angelic rendition of her everyday makeup for her wedding. So if you guys have specific Meghan Markle looks that you guys would really like to see, leave them. Well, don't leave them in the comments because you can't. Send them to me as a DM on Instagram. And while you're at it, come follow me on Instagram. Do you like what I did there? Come follow me on Instagram. Make sure to come follow me on Snapchat and Twitter too. And I think that's all I wanted to say, guys. I hope you loved this. And... Thank you so much for requesting Meghan Markle videos because, see, I love it when you guys request videos because then I'm like, now I know exactly what you guys want to see. So I had so much fun filming this and finding dupes for you guys. <sighs> this is the longest outro ever. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I need to shut up.